Hey, Snickers back here. Okay, as you see from the description, this is School OS Alpha 0.1. It's not a, a perfect build or anything like that. Don't worry about it. I've just rethemed a lot of things, okay? Just to start with, just to see how we go, to see how everything works out in the classroom, okay? But what I've intended to do here, so we're going to make old laptops from... Apparently the schools bought them in 2011, 2012. The hardware inside them is actually 2008, maybe earlier. It's an old Toshiba board, as far as I'm aware. Because I, I know that for a fact, because I sold quite a few of these Toshiba machines with exactly the same spec and board, okay, and fan, and configuration, that these had a different case. Okay, That's the only difference. Okay, And I think that the company that sold them made quite a bit of cash out of this. Okay, I'll be really honest with you. But anyway, I ain't worried about that. I've just themed it, made it nice and clean, and put everything they need into a dock at the bottom. Okay, I'm using docky for the, the moment because um, Plank just didn't work for me at the time when I was, was testing all this out. It was okay, don't get me wrong, but all of a sudden it wouldn't turn up or, or disappear. So I thought, oh, we'll try docky. I've used docky over the years, and it's quite reliable, to be honest with you. I did have a few problems when trying to put the home folder down here, okay. It didn't like that. When you tried to open it, it just went... Pew. So I'm going to work on that one, okay. Because so I don't want anything else on the desktop apart from the dock. I've kept the rubbish bin here for the time being, because I'm still dealing with it. And I have kept the top bar at the top, but I've just minimised it and made it clear, okay. But this is just a concept at the moment. There's nothing in the works, it's just a concept and I'll take it to school on Monday and they can give it a test and see what they think and what they don't think, etc, 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 etc. Now all the programs on the bar, on the dock, are all Linux programs, it's all Linux only, okay? There is no Microsoft stuff there whatsoever. Now I'm going to have to use some stuff that's proprietary for schools, but I'll get around that using wine. I know I can, so that's not a problem. So what I've actually installed here is everything they really need. So we've got Firefox, Chrome, but in mind, a lot of the stuff they do online now is online. Okay, everything is online. Yeah, oh, this is one of the ones that I'm going to get to work. Okay, a lot of schools in the UK use this Espresso. Okay, Espresso, yeah, Espresso, which yeah, it's okay, but you have to pay for it. But nearly every school has it. I don't pay the bills, so it's not my problem. But I, I know I can get it to work on their system, so it's not a big deal. Okay. And if they like using it, that's no big deal to me. I'm, you know, don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger. Okay. Then we've got Chrome. As you know, Chrome works super fine. Fortunately, these systems are 64-bit as well, which is really, really good. Okay. Really, really good. So we can get a nice 64-bit version of Chrome going. And we get new applications going, and everything will run a lot quicker. Of course, down here, we've got the full LibreOffice suite. They probably won't even use. If anyone's going to use a writer, okay, which opens super fast. This is a full install on real hardware, by the way. Not in the box. Calc, they're going to use. Well, they will be using this week, by the way. Just before I tell you. Um, all the other parts of uh, Impressed are going to do presentations. Okay, Everything is here. I've installed all the uh, MS fonts, so machines will work well together. Okay, A dictionary, of course. It's for a school. My next section here is graphics, basically. So we've got Gimpage, which will work perfectly, as you know. Yeah, super duper. These are all the stuff they're going to need on the system. Blender. Maybe I went a bit overboard there. Maybe not Blender. Uh, Inkscape, though. Yes, Inkscape. No problem. Now, bear in mind the age of these machines. I've got one running here, and I'm really, really pleased with it. But the wireless card is a bit iffy, okay? And it's not a driver issue, it's just... I think the machine's getting too hot inside, basically. So I'll give it a good douse out today. Uh, loads of compressed air. And it seems to have done the trick. But being an all aluminium case, these machines, they tend to hold the heat quite a bit. Hmm, okay. Audacity, of course. A lot of schools use this anyway. Now, in the curriculum, we have to do videos, okay? Or movies. And normally they're using iMovie or something like that. But we don't need that, do we? We can just use open shot or code and life. So open shot works perfectly fine. Basically the same thing at the end of the day, isn't it? When you think about it, no difference. But it just means uh, the students and the staff are going to work around some different software. Okay, Whether they're going to like it or not, I don't know. 
Hopefully they will. Be all right, won't it? Okay. Well, I've also installed LMS and hydrogen. Now, whether I'll keep them or take them out, I don't know. Okay. That, they may really be for older students, really. Remember, these are only key stage two. But what I did put in was Bluefish, because it's quite a simple editor for HTML, especially. And we're doing HTML at the moment, okay, with Year 6, which is super duper, and they're really liking it, actually. It's a couple of not, not picked it up just yet, but they will do over the week or two that we're going to do it, so super. Hopefully, by the end of three weeks, we'll be having a, their own web page, etc. Mmm, nice. Because you can do formatting tables. Everything's here for you, Bluefish. There are other editors out there, if you want to use them, but... I just like Bluefish. But bearing in mind, this is just a test machine. I've installed this on my machine, okay, on, my, on a spare hard drive. But I've got it on two school lappies here. And it's working perfectly. Of course, the boot's going to be a long time, okay? Because it's just an old Core 2 Duo. With only two gigs of RAM. I was expecting that. But some of the machines in the school, anyway, take over a minute to boot up anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. Scratch is de facto. It's got to be de facto. It's got to be there. Now, I must go on GitHub and find out where I can get the Scratch 2 deb file, or source, somewhere. Because it's in the Raspbian x86, and it runs super. So I really need it on this one as well, so I'll be looking into that. But as I said to you before, this is just for pure testing, okay? Pure, pure testing. Now, what do you think about keeping the desktop clean? Instead of having all the icons right away over to here, well, you've struggled to sometimes find what you need. I thought this was a cleaner way of doing it. In order, okay, in order. So over here you've got your browsers at the beginning, the LibreOffice Writer, and all the LibreOffice Suite, and anything to do with that sort of things here. Then we've got the graphics section. Then we've got the multimedia section, including video and audio. Then we go down to programming. And then we've got some Tux games, of course, Tux Math and Tux Type. And for younger kiddies, there is Tux Paint. A good, really, really good alternative for anything else they've got. Or they could use Inkscape. Okay, so we'll come out of that. Tax says, same to me. I'll say no. VLC, you've got to have for playback for them. Yeah, so, so they're going to be a bit used to some of this stuff anyway. And in the back of the bar here, I've put four workspaces. And there's, they can change workspaces. Whether it's just... That's where they're going to be. A network manager, because of course I'm going to get rid of this completely. On the next build, okay. Or on the next time I work on it, then I'm going to basically do other stuff to it. So there's a clock here and a CPU memory manager and stuff, and your wastebasket. And that's basically all it's going to be. It's going to be clean and efficient. Okay? Clean and efficient. Now, as you know, kids are not like that. Okay? They're not like that at all. So things will get messed up. Okay? So the idea is, once it's finished, which won't be till properly until uh, the summer term, really, I'm not going to do anything until the summer term. But we'll have a good couple of months of testing before we can start rolling it out on these old machines. So instead of only having one or two classes of laptops, we can have four. Yeah, four. Those two, four. And that makes a lot of difference, okay? Even if they're year one, year two, and year three. If they can get access, it's brilliant. Now, I'm not doing this for cash, by the way. I'm not doing it for beer. No, no. No beer, no cash. It's just because... You need to get all these kids in the schools working on technology. Okay? Technology is the way to go. And schools in the UK are cash-strapped at the moment. Really, really. I can't tell you a lot about it, but I'm telling you now, a lot of them ain't got no money left, and it's not even in the financial year. Mmm, I know. Not really good, is it? But anyway, this is the first look at it. Any ideas? What would you put in? Or what would you take out? And what would you change about it? I will be keeping the bases Ubuntu and XFCE, okay? So that can't be changed, and they will not be changed. But any ideas from that? I mean, should I just get rid of some of this stuff out and just have a bit of conky over here with a time and date? Because that'd be a good idea. I was thinking about it earlier. Or anything like that. What do you reckon? Or should I just ditch the dock and just go for all the icons all over the screen? Hmm. Who knows? Hit me back, guys, and we'll go from there. Yeah. We're there. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.